Hello everyone, I'm Kibitz, and welcome back to City Skylines, where last time we were very, very busy making an absolutely ludicrous amount of money with our new oil field area here, which is literally the same size as the rest of our city. And although the numbers fluctuate a bit, we managed to get up to over $600,000 in weekly profit last time. And now it's kind of bouncing up and down a little bit, but still like, you know, multiple hundreds of thousands, half a million dollars a week, I suppose is pretty decent. Of course though, we do anything big, there's gonna be problems of all shapes and sizes. But I got a plan to quickly deal with that and then we're gonna work on this city's crown jewel, the main factory district. That'll be made up of all the super factories that I've been saving up until this point. And if you're excited for that, remember to leave a like. And getting started here, let's deal with our train conundrum, which should be relatively simple. All the trains have backed up because this little intersection we built long, long ago, well, it ain't working, chief. So we're gonna redo it, and it shouldn't be too bad. All we gotta do is add in more one-way train lines. So we have an intersection here, which goes in all three directions. We have another one that does the same over here, except we have this line in the middle that goes back and forth. Well, guess what? That causes problems. But if we just separate the tracks a little bit, make sure all the tracks have their own little way out and about, this should be quickly solved. So now we'll just go to there, and this double track can scoot out Actually, I suppose it could go to here. Oh wait, what's what's this one doing going this way? But wait, there's only one track going back and forth this way. It has to work something like this. Hmm. Ah, I found the solution. It was to boop it. So now these two tracks come this way, they combine here, and then they kind of separate again, both to there and going that way. And then this way, the train just merges onto this one line, and that will get split up. So it just keeps things moving a little bit better here, and it looks kind of cool. Okay, trains are clearing up, that's all good. I'm sure you guys saw there's traffic, but come on, when isn't there traffic? Oh, <laughs> no. <sighs> We're not messing with that today, okay? I'll be honest. It'll be something I'll tinker around with every so often, but you know what? We've messed with traffic enough in this series. I want to mess with the big factories. So I have never done this before. Every time I play this game, I do all of this. I set up all the industries. I get all the money in the world and then I'm just like, eh, let's not do this. But today we are. We're gonna be setting up the mega factories. So you usually unlock these things by getting all of your industries, like the individual ones, up to level five. And then you get the crazy things like car factories, food factories, sneaker factories, and a heck of a lot more here. And these things are kind of special because they use resources from multiple industry zones. For example, to make lemonade, you need foodstuffs and glass. To make a petroleum refinery, you need metal, plastic, and petroleum. And like the list goes on here. And I kind of knew this was coming eventually after we got this freaking oil place dealt with. But now that that is dealt with, we have all of the industries. So oil is over here. We have a little bit of food stuffs just in the center of the city here. Then we have mining over this way and timber off in this little square. All of our highways then bring all the stuff to here, right along the coast. I have planned this since the beginning. We got highways upon highways upon highways everywhere so we could build this super district. All right, but as you kind of saw, these factories, they're big, big chunky boys. And we're gonna have traffic from all over the city converging here, so we gotta plan this out pretty well. Number one, this train track that's going right through here, we're gonna kind of change that up. We're gonna have it kind of go up, over, and like around the district so we have more space. Next up, highways, 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 highways. Okay. This one over here, this gotta go. After the resounding success we had building a dedicated highway through the oil area, I wanna do this kind of system again. So we'll build this giant four-way interchange. Then we'll have a highway that goes this way. Hmm, to some point at least. I think we're 
probably just gonna worry about having the highway out be raised and going through the district. Something like this. But yeah, we can have highways going over here. Oh, we should have a highway inside here and a highway going along the coast. Then there's this one over here. Hmm. See, it, after dealing with all the oil stuff, I'm, I want to be so careful. I don't want a traffic nightmare here again. I've had enough with traffic nightmares. But okay, you know what? Let's just get the rough idea. So that'll be there. This will go to here. That will go to there. This will now go over down this way. Then we'll have some kind of main road going through here. Just like that, and like this. And then everything gets complicated when we get down to this train station. You see, we have a nice little highway connection there, and then we have another nice little highway connection there, but we got so much going on. I suppose this must be done. We're gonna go underground. I typically don't want to go underground because I like to see the chaos that I am creating, but there are some points where it's like, bruh, <laughs> it ain't gonna work, Chief, unless we're going underground. So that will go to there, okay. And that can be a highway back into the oil area, perfect. And this will be a highway for the oil trucks to get into this area. That's like another huge thing that's gonna be a big puzzle with this district is that all of the different industry areas need to get in and out of this one area. Oh, there's gonna be a lot of craziness going on. Oh my gosh, we got craziness. What have I done? Pretend that highway was on the other side of the road, okay? <laughs> okay. Okay, though, that's a pretty good idea, though. I suppose at this point, then, we need another kind of interchange somewhere around here. Should it be another big clover? I, I'm not sure what we'll do here, but maybe something like this. Essentially, we just want to bring everything inside here. And we'll switch these out to roads and stuff like that once we get a grid going. Yeah, I really just need to take a second here and actually properly do these highways. So, have those tunnels where we had them. We got a big four stack interchange here. Another one here. And then another one over here. Just kind of shuffled things around a little bit. But it's just as busy. Actually, I'm, I'm very excited. This is gonna be really cool because we'll have to utilize another kind of low-key feature of the game that I have never messed around with either and that is warehousing so we can bring goods here uh, to a warehouse and then the warehouse can deliver like the products to the big factories. Look at this thing. Am I running Amazon here? Kibbs Bezos? <laughs> it is huge. There's a medium warehouse, which is significantly smaller. Gets smaller, and then finally just kind of like a yard. Cool though, eh? Of course, since we're building such a massive area, we're gonna be just building primarily with the big warehouses. And you know, because they look cool too. Now, coolness of the boxes aside. Road work. How's that going to actually work? Well, we're gonna have one-way roads, huge ones that are gonna go through little warehousing areas. So we'll have a road out this way to these warehouses. Maybe we'll have a couple more warehouses over here. We're not 100% sure yet. But then I've placed this one so it's facing this road and this one so it's facing this road. Just trying to split up traffic, keep things calm. I don't know how crazy everything's gonna get in this district, so I am planning for the worst. So we'll leave it like that. Then we have our highway exit over here. What's gonna happen is a lot of vehicles, I'm sure, are gonna just come to these warehouses to drop stuff off, and then they wanna go home. So we'll have this highway exit elevated right on next door. That will go to there. And now we have to devise a system where vehicles can get over there. I call this one a bridge. <laughs> so it elevates the road off the ground. It's crazy, I know. But then, but hear me out. The vehicles can go over other roads. Amazing. <laughs> so the vehicles can drop stuff off, go to the highway, go home, bye-bye. Now these vehicles as well, same dealio. Should work out great. Sure. What could possibly go wrong? Hmm. Now some vehicles, I, I don't know exactly how this works to be perfectly honest, but there are freight trucks that are in the warehouses. I am going to make the assumption that these freight trucks from the warehouses will take the goods from the warehouse to a unique factory somewhere. Thus, we need these vehicles to get into the district. So we have a bunch of one-ways going back to the highway and these going back to this main road. Would this overload the main road? Maybe. It's a six-lane road, though. There's no way, right? 
Probably not. We can just leave it like that then, and we can change it later. Okay, so that's a decent little prototype area. Then, for what we're actually gonna store here, we're gonna store petroleum and plastics, because we're right next to the oil area. Why not store stuff right there, right? Of course. Now, let's do a mega version of this for every other resource in the game over here. So that's gonna be six mega warehouses we have to fit in here. That'll work out. We got plenty of space for now. And we're literally just gonna copy the exact same system. So we'll have one warehouse there, next one facing in the other direction. We'll have the highway over here, there, get down, over that way. Then we got our roads to get out of Dodge. And I suppose this other one, we're just kind of loop down here. And this road will go into the rest of the district over that way. That seems to be fine. Yes. Okay, now we just have to do that two more times. And yeah, we have plenty of space for everything. It's all good. And then we're gonna be storing the animal products, flour, glass, metals, uh, timber, and paper. All right, it is time for a test. Let's see how it all works out. I've, again, never used these before. <laughs> but I should have known that they're gonna need power and water. Kibs, come on. <laughs> it's been like 500 hours in this world, please. Okay, are you happy now? There we go. Now let's see what happens. So, <laughs> I don't think we're gonna be seeing any oil trucks anytime soon. However, all of these other resources are gonna come through this one highway. So how I've built the city over here is we have three separate highways where the one on the far right goes over to the ore and produce one. Wait, I lied, it's the center one. That goes to the ore and produce one. So over to there, and then over to here. And then the third one on the far left is just going to the city and stuff. So boring, just people. The big thing is though, all of the highways end up onto one super outbound one, which goes through the entirety of the city. And this is where all the vehicles will be scooting to. They're gonna try and scoot from here, I suppose to here, here, up here, then to here. Oh, and good, they're making it, fantastic. Look at that little truck. Oh, that's the best. It's glass. It actually shows you what's stored here, like visually. Oh, that's so, that's such a nice little detail. Oh yeah, and there's the metal. Oh, cool. nothing over here yet. What's that, flower? Okay, oh, it's across over this way. That looks like, I have no idea. Metal, that's paper. <laughs> Never seen paper in my life. And then the lumber. All right, cool. I like that, that's a nice touch. Trains, ignore them. I'll deal with them again later, I'm having too much fun. Lots of vehicles coming through though. I suppose that's just to load everything up. Once everything's loaded up, it shouldn't be too bad. Looks like I did a good job setting everything up though. No traffic jams, just a lot of traffic to be expected. Okay, let's check on the oil area. Any traffic, <laughs> of course. One second in, traffic jam out the wazoo. Why oil do you gotta be like this? Eh, it's not too bad, actually. Oh, and look at that. That's the plastics, nice. And then our precious petroleum. Dude, if only there's a hailstorm or some kind of weather event just to light this factory up. <laughs> no, 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 not yet. Okay, seems to be working fine though. Not seeing any major traffic issues, aside from the glaring one staring me right in the face. But aside from that, like, vehicle traffic's looking good. Let's continue then. So, let's start with a roundabout here. And we're gonna start just having random roads going through this middle area. And we're gonna place, like, the giant factories kind of haphazardly. I don't know how much traffic they're gonna want, because I've never used them before. But I'm gonna assume it's not gonna be, like, a ton. But we'll see. For now, this road will go to here, and then we have this road over here, make it into a roundabout or something, and then we'll connect there. Okay, we have this highway exit that's just doing nothing. We could connect that up to here for whatever reason, and then we could bring a road into like the center of the district. Yeah, that's, that's gonna work out really well. Of course, I'll make it look nicer, but yeah, nothing too crazy here. Yeah, pretty basic, all things considered. Only other things I did was I added a train track right through the district, because we're probably gonna have to set up a train station somewhere in here. And then um, I added in a couple more warehouses, just so we had like a couple 
of every resource on both sides. So it's mainly the plastic and petroleum. Then we have everything else. Then likewise on the other side, I added in a small warehouse for plastic and petroleum over here too. Maybe it'll make the traffic better, I, I don't know. Everything's new! It's like I'm dealing with this DLC for the first time ever. Ah! I, in a way, I kinda am. Because we're gonna be building these factories for the first time ever. Oh, well I did build these two because they're kind of insignificant. But let's get to the rest of them. Household plastics, okay. Only using oil products? Gotcha. Well then we want to have that over by the oil side here. Oh, well, this one's kind of small. Kind of expected all of them to be the size of a car factory, but all right, that works. Oh, but then we got a toy factory. Paper, lumber, and plastic. Well, if it's paper and lumber, then we want that over on the left side then. It kind of fits in here, so let's have it. <laughs> let's have it there. Is that a duck? I'm going to have nightmares. Next one, printing press. Paper and plastic, easily done. Yeah, it's kind of small too. Let's, uh, let's just dot that one right there. That's neat. That's really cool. Little plane, honestly. It's cool that it's like a unique building, but you know, it's not a lot of detail in it. Maybe we can add our own detail later on using our Brahaxor methods. See, just put an incinerator right next to the printing press. And now look at that, we solved the problem of dealing with gossip magazines. <laughs> Moving on though, uh, we have a lemonade factory. So food and glass. Okay, so we want to keep that to the left side. Oh, this is one of the chonky boys. I thought we'd get here pretty quick. Uh, fits in like pretty much perfectly there. Let's do that. Yeah, it kind of looks boring. I <laughs> Go figure, I guess giant factories and profiteering people don't really care about the aesthetic of their factory, right? Next, electronics factory, glass, metal, plastic. Okay, so let's have this one. Wow, that's a big boy. We want this one more and so in the middle. All the plastics over here, all the rest of the stuff over here. Let's have this, uh, let's just put it next door for now. Oh, it has a logo, electronics. Oh no, dude. They actually put something on the roof. We can't have it there. By law, we have to be able to see the logo. A clothing factory. <laughs> Why don't I have merch yet, guys? What am I doing with my life? This would be a perfect plug. Whatever. Let's put that in there. Oh, cool. They have like a little rooftop break area. Nice, nice. Per new. And oh, this one. Petroleum refinery. Uses plastics, petroleum, and metal. Big boy. Is it gonna fit in there? Heck yeah, it will. I've been using this one actually all the time. <laughs> I've used it in like so many thumbnails. Next up, soft paper factory. Why? Oh, like toilet paper. <laughs> I get it. Crops, paper, petroleum, plastic. Why? But why? Car fa- oh, a car factory. Why does this need animal products? What the? It seems kind of dark. I don't know. Did I leave space for this thing? This is too much. Mm, can I move you to not there? And car factory went into your spot, huh? Like a glove. Oh, that's cool. Oh, dude, what a, I love this design. I really like the giant windows on the front. Okay, stop, stop, stop. Build the rest of them. We need to test this out. How many are left? Jeez, food factory, wherever we can put it. Oh, it's like horizontally huge. Okay, we'll have that there. A sneaker factory. Let's have that. Let's have that in there. A modular house factory. Is that gonna fit in here? Yeah, all right. And yeah, just giant boxes all over space and time. I think this one is my favorite one though. The toilet paper one? That's pretty neat. Well, aside from the refinery one, but <laughs> after dealing with all of this, I'm kind of refined out. But now with all the unique factories built, Let's just see what happens. I want to see the traffic. Is it going to be an absolute nightmare like over here? Is it going to be having some chill? Will the traffic be able to get from the city over here okay? Oh yeah, and our trucks being sent out. Freight trucks in use, all of them. Wait, wait, wait. Livestock, large warehouse, this one. Let's see what it does. Let's go on an adventure. Wait, it's exporting animal products? What? Exporting? I thought the warehouse's exclusive job was just to bring things to the fancy factories. Are you telling me this is gonna go to a train station now? Cause if so, that is super mega good. Oh, it is. Oh my gosh. It is, it's going to the train station right over here. 
Oh, I wish I knew that. Oh my goodness, that makes life so much more simple. With all of the other train stations we have around, we could have just had warehouses dotted around in a much cleaner kind of system. And then the warehouses would just take everything to the train station. And then there wouldn't be so much traffic, like every single vehicle from this district trying to go over here. Oh, hindsight. Well, I, it's not even hindsight. I didn't know, but now I do. Okay, discovery is made. Very exciting stuff. So what will happen now? Truck, oh. So there's a little bar for each of the different things. Of course, showing the storage. That makes the sneakers, you see the cost, and how much you're gaining. That is pretty good. Is our income going up at all? Not really. I don't think we have this area set up very efficiently yet. What if we just um turned it up? Turned up the volume. 20,000 per week? That's pretty good. I doubt we can keep up with it. We're gonna have to do some optimizations. But so far, so good. Let's see, what about the car factory? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, wait! Ah, look at that, it's a little car carrier thing to do. Oh, that's so cool! Wait, does every unique factory have its own special little truck that's gonna be on the road now? Please! Oh, what's that? Food factory? It has the logo on it. What's that one? The electronics? Boring one. Oh, that is so fun. I love that. That's the energy drink one. The police. Dude, ah, I love this. I love this. That is so cool, man. Money, though. Ex uh, money? Uh-oh, we're poor. Where'd our money go? Produce things faster. Ah, there we go. We're going back up. But you know, it's kind of surprising. These are not making as much money as I thought. Well, now they're not making any money, not enough materials, fair enough. But is about 1,500 to 5,000? Like it's over 100% profit over material costs, but it's not crazy. I was thinking we're gonna be like, getting to like the million dollar per week mark with these bad boys, but it looks like no. You know, I think this is a good time to Kind of just let the game run and see what happens. The traffic's died down over here. I'm not seeing a lot of traffic in here. Yeah, everything's looking quite good. It's definitely not as busy as other places. So I think we can manage. All right, now it's been a bit here and things are looking pretty good. Profit is still around 500,000. We have $64 million and we are not getting the materials to these places fast enough. Oh, that's okay though, because it's not because of, uh, oh. I lied. <laughs> it is because of a traffic jam. But I actually know what's wrong here. So what's happening is all these vehicles, they just want to go back home. They want to go to their industry areas over here. And how I set up the system is the highway goes to this crazy interchange where it's already super busy because all these vehicles want to go to the train station. And all those vehicles are going to that train station because that's where all of these luxury goods are being sold to right now. So we have two things we need to do. Number one, we need a better highway connection from here to over in the city here. And number two, we gotta get ourselves a train station in here, which shouldn't be too difficult with this line going straight through. Let's work on the highways over here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a little highway, which will be soon a big highway, coming from here, and then joining our greatest piece of spaghetti in the city, this monstrosity it's gonna be terrible how will we get even more highways hooked up to this maybe we should start at the end okay so we need a highway to connect to each of the three other highways uh, this will go up we'll just have to have that go over here and that's kind of like done okay that was not bad uh, over here all these highways will merge together do we just add in another one? We can make it look a little bit prettier later. Don't worry, we're just trying to get out of Dodge. Oh, look at that, the one in front, of course. It's right there, in front. That's three, so now you to there. You to there. <laughs> and you to there. We did it. And after a little bit of cleanup too, it's working. Vehicles are able to go that way. Of course, there's a bunch of vehicles still waiting to go to that other train station, but I have a fix for that. And then finally, a lot of the vehicles are going from that one main highway and they just wanna go to the luxury district, right? So, new highway for them. Scooting over here, up this way. And finally, to the warehouses. Hooray, everything's working better. Mm, only a little bit of traffic. 
and I'm, I'm quite happy. You might also notice, hey, the trains are moving. What's up with that? Well, added in a train station here. This hasn't actually been all that busy though. This whole district isn't really that busy. Just the factories are huge and they just demand vehicles all the time. Yep, this train station is keeping things pretty chill. It's doing its thing. The big change was actually over this way. I didn't add in warehouses, but I changed up all the track design. So now there is just multiple tracks leaving here. What ended up happening is I had one track for all of these lanes to leave from. So one train would go onto the track, block off this lane, this lane, da 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 da, all the lanes. But now there's more lanes, they get connected later on, and everything goes to another piece of spaghetti. And we are good to go! And we got a lot done today as well, which is fantastic. So I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you for watching, but have a fantastic rest of your day, and bye bye.